Today, Blue Zoo TV, presented by Akari, featuring Fluval, is at the world-famous Chicago Shed Aquarium. Let's go check it out. We are at the world-famous Shed Aquarium in Chicago. Blue Zoo TV, presented by Hikari, featuring Fluval with George Parsons. George? How you doing? How you doing? Nice. How many people visit Shed a year? We have two million guests coming throughout the aquarium throughout the year. You can't name them all, can you? No, no. How about, how about fish? How many fish, how many gallons? So we have about 1,200 species of fish. Uh, throughout the aquarium, we have about six million gallons total. So what area are we standing in right now? Right now we're in the uh, Rivers Gallery, and uh, it comprises a lot of the freshwater fish from throughout Asia, Australia, uh, a little bit of South America as well. Now one of the things that stands out about this area is this is where some people at the home aquarium can have some of these species. Exactly. And it's a really great place for if you want to do research on your potential pet, you could come to Shed Aquarium and kind of look at some of the uh, exhibits here and see roughly about maximum size of what your animals will attain. See, the one nice thing about this is that, sure, you can look it up on the internet and you can find all the information, but to really see it firsthand, to see how big something can get, and to ask questions, they should come here and really see it face to face. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, you can take us around a little bit, explain it, some of these exhibits? Sure, exactly. Um, one of my favorites and probably really a, a notable animal here at Shed is uh, Grandad, our Australian lungfish from Queensland, Australia. Uh, he came here actually in 1933. So, at that time, uh, he was about 10 years old, we we're guessing. So he could be well over 100 years old. He's the oldest fish that we know of in the world. So it's kind of special here at Shed. George, a real popular fish. It seems like it'd be even becoming more popular in the aquarium hobby for people to have as a hobbyist having their fish are rainbow fish. Yeah. What I like to know about rainbow fish is how do you maintain them and what's the best environment to keep them in? Sure. So they, um, they are found not too far away from the Australian lungfish that we saw a little while ago. So they live in Australia, live in kind of the riverine systems throughout Australia, and there's probably about three to four hundred different species of rainbow fish, all very, very brightly colored. And they're brightly colored to attract mates and things like that. George, we're sitting down because we're tired. That's right. But we're, Long in day. we're in front of one of my favorite type fish, Cardinal Tetris. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit about them. Well, uh, the cardinal tetras are really important um, because they're found up the Rio Negro of the Amazon. They like a real acidic water. So with the cardinal tetras, there's probably what? I mean, four, five, six hundred in here? Yeah, we have about five to seven hundred uh, cardinal tetras as well as uh, some emperor tetras, black tetras, uh, some really neat hatchet fish as well. Well, it's interesting, before we sat here, we chased away a whole bunch of kids because they Everybody seems to love the Cardinal Tetra. Yeah, they're very, very popular just because of those that beautiful, vibrant color that they have, um, especially when you feed them right and give them the right foods like um, like dry diets from Hikari and things like that. George, we talk about some of the freshwater fish that you want in your 55 or 100 gallon aquarium. Sure. These might not exactly fit the Arapaimas. Right. Um, so they do occasionally show up in the pet trade as little babies, and it's an, another example of why you should do your homework before you look at, you know, by purchasing an animal. Like a cat or dog, you know, you want to make sure that it'll, it'll fit in your house. Uh, same thing with fish. You want to make sure that you do your research, read a little bit, and uh, make sure you know the maximum size of these animals before you bring it home. They're one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Um, they do get very large. Um, probably over a couple hundred pounds or so. So what we're trying to do is ascertain to kind of how they migrate, where they go, kind of um, during the, both the rainy season and the uh, dry season as well. You know, George, you've given us about 50 reasons to come back and shoot more at the shed down the road. So I want to thank you for having us here. It was my pleasure, my pleasure, and good luck to you guys. That's good to have you. And uh, again, come down to shed. It's a really wonderful place. We have, you know, over 12, 1,200 species of, of animals here at shed. Blue Zoo TV is presented by Hikari, making species-specific diets long before it was fashionable. Because at Hikari, we know it matters. And featuring Fluval, discover life below water with Fluval. Blue Zoo is proudly partnered with Carib Sea, bringing science to life. Nature protected, nature perfected with Carib Sea.
to email the show, go to bluezootv.com and follow us on Twitter at bluezootv.